Assalamu alaikum my dear students. I am medical student and my aim is to help my juniors with my knowledge. I am going to start short series for FSC students, especially for the Sin Board students. Even these notes will inshallah help you for your MCAT studies as well. For the today's lecture, we are going to cover some topics of homeostasis. In this topic, in this uh, video, we are going to cover the lecture, uh, topics of aspects of homeostasis, control system, and feedback system. So first, we have to know what is the word homeostasis means. This word is derived from the Greek word homeo means same. And stasis is the steady state, same state, constant state. The definition of homeostasis is maintenance of the steady state of the internal environment. I am again mentioning internal environment. Or you can say the set of regulatory mechanisms which are involved in maintaining the organism's internal environment. How? How can we explain it? Like you can say, the pH of our blood is always same, always constant. How it is always constant? Because of this homeostasis. The proportion of different substances in our urine is always same, always constant. How? just because of these regulatory mechanisms of homeostasis. So before going to know what is the internal environment, let us know what is environment. Environment is of two types, internal environment and external environment. What is internal environment? Internal environment is the environment in which our cells live. Where our cells live? Our cells live in the tissue fluid. So the tissue fluid is the internal environment of our cells. And what is the external environment in which the organism itself live? Like we live on land, so the, our external environment is land. Fishes live in water, the, uh, so the external environment for the fishes is water. And same, there is different external environment for different plants. Some like uh, live in deserts and some live in uh, rainy forests. So everything has, every organism has different external environment. Now let's come to the aspects of homeostasis. There are three aspects of homeostasis. How many? Three. What are these? Osmoregulation, excretion, and thermoregulation aspects of homeostasis there are three aspects of homeostasis what are these osmoregulation excretion and thermoregulation what is osmoregulation it is the maintenance or regulation of the solute and water balance regulation of solute and water or you can see the maintenance of the osmotic pressure. In different books, you find different definition of osmoregulation. What is excretion? Excretion, for excretion, just remember three words. What are these? Surplus, unwanted, and metabolic waste. What is mean by surplus? That our body is in need of it. We need water for our daily requirement. But when the water is in excess, it is excreted by our urine. So the water that is surplus is excreted. The next thing is unwanted. It is the requirement, like it is not the requirement of our body. We eat it, but it is not our, uh, the need of our body. So the body excreted out. And the third is metabolic waste. What is metabolic waste? All the waste products produced in the metabolic reactions are called as metabolic waste. Now let's come to the third aspect of the homeostasis which is thermoregulation. 
The name itself says that the maintenance of the temperature up to tolerable limit. Like our body temperature is maintained whether we are in the sunny environment or in the cold environment. Now let's come to the next topic which is control system. Like aspects of homeostasis for control system we have to remember just three words. What are these? Receptors, control centers and effectors. What is receptors? They are the perceivers. They perceive the change in the external environment. Any change in the external environment is, you can say, captured by just a like receptors take indication that the external environment is changed. And what can receptors do? They can send the signals to the control center. What is control center? Control center is our brain. It integrates and analyze and process the situation and send the appropriate command. To whom it send appropriate command? It send appropriate command to the effectors. And effectors are nothing but the muscles and the glands. For effectors, whenever you like listen the word of effector, just Two words come must be in your mind. What are these? Muscles and glands. How the muscles and glands and receptors and control center works? Like take the example of sweating. What happened in the sweating? Like we are under the hot sun and we suddenly start sweating. Our receptor perceives the external environment change that the outside environment is sunny. It sends signals to the control center to the brain that the environment is outside hot. And what the control center do? It sends the signals to the sweat glands. Remember, glands are the effectors. So, it's, so it sends the uh, command to the sweat glands to produce the sweat and, this, and that's what the sweating happens. And the body becomes cool and it is also called as evaporative cooling. Now, why it is all needed to control uh, the body uh, functions and why the regulatory mechanism is needed, why the internal environment must be maintained. Why? Because just say when the external environment changes, so our receptors perceive it. But if the external uh, environment is not like brain is not working properly or it does not send proper signals uh, to the uh, controls uh, effectors, then what happens when external environment change? It affects the internal environment. What happens that uh, internal environment is affected and now, for the normal situation, what must be happen that the brain send the uh, signals to the effectors and the effectors can control the situation. But if the effectors does not play their role in controlling the situation, then what happens? Then complications may occur. And it is very harmful and very dangerous and sometimes it may be fetal. So the maintenance of the internal environment is very, very necessary. Like external environment may change. Today we are in the summer, for the next time after some months we are in winter and when we go to the uh, mountainous areas, there is external environment changes. But wherever we go, wherever we are, the internal environment must be maintained. Now let's come to the feedback system. What is feedback system? Feedback system is nothing but the check and balance mechanism that when the external environment must change, how it change, how long it must be in operation. So this is all maintained by the uh, feedback system. The feedback system is of two types. Number one, positive feedback and number two, 
negative feedback. For positive feedback and for negative feedback, I have highlighted two words. For positive feedback, more and more. Like whenever the positive feedback words come in front of you, just remember more and more. And when the negative feedback comes in front of you, then remember no more. Why it is more and more and why it is no more? More and more because it leads to the enhancement of the change. Whenever any process, any reaction, any mechanism is going on in the body, positive feedback increases and increases and promotes the change. But when the external, uh, when, uh, what does a negative feedback do? It stops the change. When whatever the reaction is going, it stops it. It produces the opposite effect of it. It produces a positive effect of it in relation to any change in the body fluid. So now you can understand it enhances the change. So more and more it stops it. Opposite does the opposite of the reaction, the opposite of the mechanism. That's why it is no more. Now the examples of positive feedback are uh, infectious fever. See, it is the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that whenever any pathogens come in our body, it affects us, it harms us. And what does our body do in action? That it produces a substance that increases our body temperature, like pyrogen. It increases our body temperature. And by that, we got a fever. And suddenly, after one or two days, we are all healthy. Because the, this fever fight with the infectious pathogen. Now the second example is birth of a baby. When the fetus, a uh, head of the fetus comes down uh, in the uterus, the uterus start contracting more and more. When the uterus start contraction more and more, the more the head comes down and the contraction increase and increase and increase. You see, enhancement of the change, promotion of the change. And the last example, there are many examples, but to, uh, right now we are covering just three. Last example is heat stroke. Yes, it is harmful a little bit. It's like whenever the temperature of uh, like our external temperature changes, our receptor perceives the change. And it sends the signal uh, to the brain. What should be happen normally that the brain should send signals for the sweat glands to the sweating, for the sweating. But when it, like it does not working properly or the we are extremely hot days, then what happens? Our internal body temperatures start increasing more and more and more. You know, leads to enhancement of the change. You know, we uh, learned in the first year of chemistry that in the molecular theory that when the temperature increases, molecules start moving uh, increasingly, like molecules move fastly and the temperature increases more and more. Same what happens when the temperature increases, our internal temperature increases, our body reactions are more rapid, becomes more rapid. And when it becomes more rapid, what happens? That it releases their own metabolic heat and it also helps in increasing more internal temperature. The internal temperature increases more and more and it is like very dangerous sometimes and sometimes it may also be fetal. Uh, examples of negative feedback is sweating. I have uh, explained it above. Again, again explaining that in sweating, what happens that uh, like in the sunny days, when the receptor perceives the change that the outside external environment is hot, then it sends the signals to the control center, to the brain, and brain sends signals to the effectors. What are effectors? Effectors are muscles or glands. Brain sends signals to the sweat gland and the sweat gland start producing sweat and our body lower down its, te its temperature. And what is the, ex uh, the next example is uh, blood sugar level. When we eat any meal, like anything, candies or some other food, any meal when we eat, our blood sugar level increases. 
the blood sugar level is increasing now and now what is a negative feedback no more so the blood sugar level must be come down so what does the body do body sends signals to the insulin hormone to the to produce the insulin and the insulin produce and insulin lowers down the blood sugar level in the sin food book it is written that after eating sweets no whenever we eat anything our blood sugar level increases and it must be lowered down because when the blood sugar level does not lower down our body does not store glucose and when body does not store glucose it will be excrete out from the urine and it may cause different diseases like diabetes and that's what for today that's it for today so what we have covered today is introduction of homeostasis aspects of homeostasis uh, what are the aspects of homeostasis osmoregulation excretion and thermoregulation and then the control system what is control system uh, it controls the our body whole, whole functions and how by the receptors control center and the effectors and then we have learned about the need for regulating internal environment and then the feedback system positive feedback and negative feedback and their different definitions that's all for today and what i want to say is you if you have any confusion regarding any topic you can just uh, tell me in the comments and i will inshallah make video for this or if you want these notes or anything from me or you want to ask any uh, mcqs regarding your mcat or fsc you can dm us on our instagram page study with doctors till that stay safe stay at home stay positive good luck allah hafiz assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh